Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, Yoshi with Cory, aka Crasher, here with a new video, and ladies and gentlemen, it's about time to take a dive on in to the first episode of Pokemon Aim to Be a Pokemon Master. In this episode, we are expected to have ourselves a legendary encounter with Latias, but the question is, what is Latias' significance here in this episode? So if you guys enjoy what you see here in today's video, make sure you guys thumbs up the like button and subscribe. We do this sort of thing every single week that there's a brand new episode of the Pokemon anime. Let's get into this, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do this. Oh, I'm excited already. Woohoo! Let's go. Alright, so... Got some pretty beautiful scenery here. Bird's eye view of some... So oh! There's the legend! The legendary duo! Ash and Pikachu. Haha! <laughs> Where are they off to today? On such a beautiful day. <laughs> that, that was cute right there, what Pikachu just did. Just yawned. <laughs> a crossroads. Which way are they gonna go? Yeah, which way should we go? Left or right? Oh! Branch! We can use this! We go whichever way the leaves point. So, okay! <laughs> He's gonna let a, let a little twig uh, dictate which path to take. <laughs> oh! Left it is! Okay! Is what I was. What? Just something about it just feels right, you know. Oh, Pikachu! Pikachu's not happy about that. <laughs> Pikachu just knocked off Ash's hat. Now you've done it. <laughs> oh, gonna play dumb? <laughs> then maybe I should leave you there. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my God. Does it again? Pikachu's a little prankster. I love it. I'm going on ahead. <laughs> Pikachu is just like waddling after him. <laughs> that was that was cute. Ash's Pikachu has a little prankster edge to it. Oh. Okay. That. Oh. Wait a second. We got some of the OG clips here! Ash, Misty, Brock, we got Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Charizard, Squirtle? Oh man, does this take me back. We're, we're getting like... We're getting clips from the OG Pokemon series in this opening. <laughs> oh man, that is just amazing. I remember that battle with Onyx and that battle with Raichu as well. Oh, there's the companions from over the years. Oh my god, Butterfree. And she, okay, so... Butterfree and Charizard. I remember those episodes where Ash released them. There's Ash and Gary. Oh, I remember that episode where they were all huddled together in that, like, snow hole type of thing. Oh! Legendary encounters! Let's go! Okay. Oh, I remember that Sinnoh battle! Oh, Ash Ranger! Oh, shit! So... Okay! Ash Greninja! And there's Ash's Pikachu going Super Saiyan mode! Oh, my God! Oh, man! Okay. I absolutely adored that opening right there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow! That was... Oh, my God, that was amazing. Oh, look! A little Phantom! We got Saucebuck here. And there's uh, Squovet and <laughs> Rattata fighting over an acorn. Following the winds, following their whims. In a forest somewhere, in a region somewhere. Directionless journey continues. Well, you go wherever the wind blows. Oh, we got a little Dewfire just bobbing up and down the water. And now they're crossing the river where Pikachu is. Okay. Hey, whoa! Uh oh! Oh, Ash! Don't don't fall in! Don't don't you fall in! Don't. Oh, he fell in the drink. He fell in the drink. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Why are those magic 
Magikarp just chowing down on his arse! Those mag- What is up with them? <laughs> Pikachu finds that funny. <laughs> I do too, but- What is up with those three? Uh-oh. Pikachu, Thunderbolt? Oh! Of course, those three Magikarp got fried, but... So did Ash. <laughs> he got hit too with that Thunderbolt. Oh my god. Oh. Now, now they're swinging on, in, on mines. Oh, there's a Kakuna. And, oh. No, oh, he just face planted right into that tree. Owie. Uh oh. Oh, that Kakuna's falling. Uh, Ash catches it. Whew. Is it sleeping? It doesn't look like it is. It looks like it's evolving! Uh-oh! Oh, we know what this means. Beedrill are typically the antagonistic wild Pokémon throughout the series. Oh, he's, he's, he's cradling that Beedrill like a baby! That's kind of adorable! <laughs> Ash, don't make any sudden movements! Oh! Uh-oh! Oh, Ash! Pointing those twin needles right at Ash, and Ash is like, I surrender! Okay, what what's happening here? Poke? What? Oh! Oh! Beedrill let Ash survive another day! Whew. That was scary indeed. But did you see that, Pikachu? <laughs> I mean, I just made friends with that Beedrill. Well, that's one way to look at it. I mean, Beedrill let you live, so... I don't think enemies comes to mind, that's for sure. And now they're just stretched out underneath a tree. God, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Oh! Ninjask! Just zipped right on by! And, oh! We have our... Oh, we got little Mimey! We got Mimey! <laughs> Helping around the house as per the usual. And plants are now being watered by Ash's mom. Miss Mom! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> we got freaking Professor Oak riding on a bike! Have you heard from Ash? Nope. Not a word since. I don't know where he is or what he's up to. Oh! I remember that picture! Oh, man! I used to be just like that when I was young. Oh, does he have... He does have a goal of sorts. He said he wanted to make more friends. <laughs> friends. A poem just came to mind. <laughs> Frickin' Oak in his poetry, man. Master of the craft. And... Mimi doesn't seem to have any interest. He's just sweeping up a bunch of dust. <laughs> sweeping up a bunch of dust to... Distract or drive away Oak. <laughs> oh! A, a little cricket tot. And a pat rat. And... Oh, a diglet. There we go. And... A Meowth. Uh... Is that... Oh, no! That was Team Rocket's Meowth! And Pikachu just got caught. Spicy Meow, what are you doing? Of course we got freaking Team Rocket. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Whoosh Shing. To protect the world from devastation. To preserve world peace. Of course they're gonna do their freaking motto. So as it turns out, this isn't the last time. Episode 136 of Pokemon Journeys wasn't the last time that we were gonna see Team Rocket and their motto and their attempt to catch Pikachu. We gotta deal with them here too. <laughs> Pikachu just freaking dangling in the net. Oh my god. <laughs> Pikachu doesn't like that. Yep. Wherever Pikachu is, Team Rocket's bound to follow. I don't think that Thunderbolt's gonna work, Ash. They usually always have something electric proof. Yep. Including that net. Being, like, electric proof, but that... Oh! Even Iron 
still's not working. Escape is impossible. And of course, they researched Pikachu. So, their invention can withstand Iron Tail, too. The Super DX Capture Net. So, with that out of the way, we'll be off. You think I'll let you? Oh! Oh, Noivern! Noivern's here! Oh, Blast Waves! So, uh oh. Wobbuffet. That mirror coat, though. Oh, we got Dog Fan! Oh! Just absorbing that blast? Like, like, what the hell? Is that allowed? And that's not all. Uh oh. We got Chad Tile! Se Freaking Septile is here! The Chad! The Chad of Hoenn! Chad Tile! That Leaf Blade made short work of that net. Now Pikachu is free. Uh oh. Team Rock is about to get blasted with a Thunderbolt. And blasting off. Let me guess. What an awful feeling. <laughs> I can't believe. Man. Noivern, Sceptile, and Dawnfan returning. Wow. That was so cool, man. I don't get it. Our Pikachu countermeasures were perfect. Well, clearly not. We didn't prepare anything for his other Pokemon. Well, that see, that's your biggest downfall there. And, whoa. Whoa, what the hell? Okay. The, Team Rocket and Latias just freaking collided. Team Rocket blasted off, but... Okay. <laughs> so that... I guess that's how all this happens. That's how... That's how we encounter Latias, is from that collision. Like, it, it crashed in that lake. And... Okay. What was that? Think you better go investigate. Alright. Let's see this here. Alright, okay. Latias is still somewhat invisible here. Or it's like... In a reflective state. Something's there. Yep. Latias. And Ash... Ash seems to recognize Latias. Now the question is, is this the same Latias from Pokemon Heroes? Or is this a different Latias? Uh oh, Latias seems to be fighting. Like, well, Latias is hurt. I'm sorry I scared you. This one must be like just uh, more timid in nature. Oh, hey, we got Bleasel. Nice. The badass of Sinnoh. <laughs> Alright. So... Oh man, that Latias is not looking too good. Like, it's banged up and... Especially, uh, like, it's uh, it's uh, wing. Like, it's like there's like a big bruise on there. Thanks, Pikachu. Just wait, I'm gonna attend to you now. Alright. So, this is interesting. And we got a little hoot hoot there. <laughs> and, oh, Team Rocket again. I'm starving. Everything hurts. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Yeah. We got a campfire here. The Brat Boy. And Ash's Pokemon look like they're standing guard. They know what's up. And the Latias appears to look better, although it's got that big bandage on its wing. Who's that Pokemon? They even still have that sarcastic Rotom smartphone. <laughs> yep. That's Latias. And of course, with it being a legendary Pokemon, you know what Team Rocket's gonna try and do. <laughs> In short, it's a legendary Pokemon. Get it now? Yup. 
That's a huge find. We're gonna catch it, meow. Oh, let's see how this all unfolds. Well, Adios is fast asleep, though. Oh, they got untied. Thank you, Pikachu. We should spray some more medicine, too. Yep, nice little potion there. This will sting a bit. Wow. This time I'll tie them tighter. So they stay on. Ash is like a little medic there. And Ash's Pokemon are just looking on. Man, I still can't get over Ash actually like rotating his Pokemon. Like using different Pokemon. This is what we wanted in Pokemon Journeys. But better late than never, I suppose. Hope you get better soon, Latias. Just rest up for now. Hmm. Sleeping under the night sky. I'd love to be out camping myself, honestly. And... Ash's freaking Noivern and Sceptile were, like, still standing guard. Did they even get any sleep, or were they, like, literally up all night? Oh. Latias is waking up. Oh. Uh-oh! Latias got startled! Is he gonna run away? Good morning, Latias! Oh, whoa! He's tearing off his bandages! That's not... I don't think you should do that! Oh, she is... She's scared. I don't know what happened, but we're helping you. We're all worried about you. See? Come back down. I wonder, like, if this particular Latias, like, has bad experiences with humans, like... Uh-oh. It's still not 100%, obviously. Oh! Oh, no! Latias is gonna get sucked up in that vacuum cleaner! Oh! And Ash got sucked up, too! And whose work is that, I wonder? Whose work is that? None other. Yep. Team Rocket with the OG Meowth Bloon. Open Sesame. And there's... Yep, they caught Latias, but... They also caught Ash, too. Oh! Whoa! I heard something. What? They're, they're freezing Ash and Latias? It came with something worthless... With some worthless freebie. Yeah, what are, what are you gonna do? Those guys can't attack us, Meow. <laughs> he can be our hostage. Well, I mean, like, if... If I were Ash's Pokemon and I'd recognize that my trainer is in danger, I would attack regardless. Don't you move, Pikachu. You don't care what, <laughs> what could happen to the Brat Boy? Kids don't get cold. I can deal with this just fine. But Latias being a dragon type doesn't like the cold. Like, it's weak to ice type moves. I'll get you out somehow. Escape is impossible. This time, we've exhaustively <laughs> researched Latias, and now the ice hating dragon type faces Operation Super Cooled Capture. It's super effective. Operation successful. What a great feeling! What are they gonna do? Can't I do anything? I know. Pikachu. Send a Thunderbolt at me! Okay! What does he have in mind here? And... Ash's Pikachu obliges! Let's see this! Oh! Oh! <laughs> hits him through the glass! Okay, what's his plan here? Okay... What is Ash up to here? Oh! Oh, the glass broke! So... Okay, now they're both falling, but like, what? What the hell? Oh! Noiverns! Take my hands! Okay. Oh! There we go! Oh! Latias is able to fly! 
just like what we've seen in the in the freaking preview there. Latias holding Ash while flying, and now we got Boom Burst here, and that just easily blew apart that balloon. We were so close, meow. <laughs> this time we didn't prepare anything for Pikachu. Just when we caught a legendary Pokemon. Yeah, I know, right? So close yet so far away. What an awful feeling! <laughs> oh man. Well, it still has that bruise on its on its wing, but it seems to be like doing better. Hmm. Oh! It just disappears and flies away! Okay. So... Int uh, <coughs> I wonder if I'll see her again. I'm wondering too, like what? <coughs> I'm wondering about that Latias, honestly. You know? Wow. Okay, well... Either way... Either way, this episode was a joy so far, you know? And there's Snorlax with Buneary on its belly. <laughs> yep, their journey goes on somewhere, even today. Where's the path gonna take them next, I wonder? Hmm. Okay. Man, that's such beautiful scenery. Wow. <laughs> okay. Wow, I just... Oh! Latios is looking on! I wonder if that Latios is going to be following Ash. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. It's evaluation time. Let's get into my post-reaction thoughts about the first episode of Aim to Be a Pokemon Master. And this right here was an absolute joy to experience. Now, I'm wondering about the significance of that Latios encounter in this episode. Was this just a one-off thing? Or is that Latias going to be following Ash around in the future episodes? Because it was looking on at the very end of this episode. So I'm wondering about that. Maybe I'm just overthinking, but let me know what you guys think about that. And another thing I'm wondering about that Latias is even though Ash was trying to help it, why it put up such a struggle and it was as if it was like scared or something like that of humans. I'm wondering if it's just generally within its nature to be scared slash wary of humans or if it had some type of traumatic experience with humans in the past. So if it is the case where it's going to be a recurring Pokemon following Ash around, maybe we'll learn more about it and more of its past experiences. But as far as the episode itself is concerned, it was really straightforward and to the point. I mean, basically it can be summed up like this. Ash and Pikachu encountered a Latias after it collided with a blasting off Team Rocket, and despite the attempts of Team Rocket trying to steal it, well, it didn't work because you know how crafty Ash can get when he's in a bind. And that instance was just another example of exactly that. It's like he got powered up, supercharged by that Thunderbolt, causing the glass to break. And, well, that right there was when Team Rocket knew at that point that they done goofed. I'm also really curious to see more of Ash's Pokemon returning in future episodes, and I'm especially curious to see what their roles are going to be as well. I'm really, really excited about that too. I also got to point this out as well, because I thought that this was actually kind of adorable for what the Pokemon was actually known for, being very vicious and antagonistic. I'm talking none other than Kakuna slash Beedrill, where Kakuna fell from the tree and Ash caught it, and then it evolved into a Beedrill. And the way Ash is just like cradling it and stuff like that, just like a baby, that was honestly really, really adorable. And the fact that Beedrill didn't just automatically attack Ash, I mean, 
I guess it shows that even the most villainous of Pokemon can perhaps maybe have moments of kindness. Maybe that Beedrill in particular has a heart? I don't know. But either way, that right there was something that Ash should really consider himself lucky for. Because typically, when it comes to Ash and his history with Beedrills, there's a lot more bad experiences than there are good. I'll just say that much. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give this episode an 8 out of 10. This right here was a great way to open up this mini series, and I honestly really, really enjoyed it. And at the moment, I can't really think of anything to nitpick this episode on, but I will say that I am heavily curious about that Latias, if I haven't already said and talked about this. I mean... Again, I just might be overthinking it, but imagine if that particular Latias was following Ash through this miniseries, and we learn more and more about it, and hey, who knows, maybe, just maybe, it may result in Ash actually catching that Latias. But let me know your guys' thoughts about this in the comments down below. How would you guys rate this episode out of 10? What did you guys love the most about this episode? And if you guys had any criticisms and nitpicks about this episode, what would they be? I cannot wait. I cannot wait to hear from all of you amazing, beautiful legends because you guys are absolutely awesome and I love you guys to bits. Thank you for everything. And that's it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, consider liking and subscribing and especially comment your thoughts down below because I love hearing from you guys. Always have. That will never, ever change. So thanks again for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day or night depending on your time zone. And I'll see you guys in the next one.